Hi, I'm Strong Mom. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video about my little area that I've been keeping a secret from everybody. It is going to be a little sports field for the back of my school area. I'm going to start off with the baseball diamond. Now we've all seen Kato made her overgrown uh, baseball field that was really big and turned out honestly really good. But I'm going to make a smaller one. Hopefully I was kind of winging it. I wasn't exactly sure how to do the whole diagonal thing. I do know how to get the one side, but I had to play around a little bit with each side as I went. So I'm going to let you go ahead and watch me do that. It was pretty easy once you get the pattern figured out. If you guys want a more detailed um, video on how to do this, let me know below and I can definitely make something happen. Otherwise, just here is how I did it. The corners of the baseball diamond are what gave me the most trouble. I kind of just had to play around with it to see which would work the best. I'm not exactly sure if I realized how to do it the first time I did it, but by the time I got to the third and the last, I had figured it out. But it's definitely just something that if you're wanting to make one, you just kind of have to play around with it until you get what you what the shape is supposed to be. Also, I find that rounding it instead of leaving, you can definitely leave whatever shape you want on the outside for the grass pattern. I find that leaving them as a little circle works the best because it's the smallest area. You can leave them as the diagonal, but it just shows more of the path basically that you're trying to hide. So. With mine, I wanted it to be the less seen because I didn't, I'm not going to have mine be an overgrown one. Mine's going to be used, so I'm only going to put a few things on my baseball diamond. So I definitely wanted the most minimal diagonal pattern that I could get. Also, the pattern that I'm using is listed on my Pinterest. I will have all that information down below in the description. As always, I always have all of my patterns and codes listed for you guys, so you can easily find them over there on my Pinterest. As you can see, it got a lot easier towards the end of this little padding issue. It definitely becomes a little bit easier once you realize what you're doing. Um, after I was done with the baseball diamond, I decided that I also wanted to have a small soccer field behind my school. And so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and make the soccer field out. Basically, I'm just getting the sizing down first before I do any sort of decorating. I just wanna get the basic spacing down because I definitely think I have to move 
my river or do something with it at this point. So I think it is a new day and I did decide that I needed to rework my river and my bridge situation. So I go out and filled all that in and I really wanted to still leave some of my water because the waterfall is right there. So I decide that I want to have more of a little bit of a lake. And so for whatever reason, I decided that I needed to work on this waterscaping right now. So I am just going to make the little bit of a lake and see how far out this will go. And then I get back to my soccer field. Waterscaping and I don't mix very well. I don't feel like I'm very good at it. I've been trying on this island in particular to do a little bit more waterscape than I'm used to. It's something that I think I'm learning, but definitely have a lot, a lot more to learn. So I went and demolished that bridge because I felt like we needed a lot of extra room for my area. I do also want to put in a playground at some point right over here for the little kids. But after I got my river and my lake and my bridge situated, I decided that I wanted my soccer field to be the opposite way. Instead of being horizontal, I wanted it to be vertical. So I went and switched it all up and made it vertical. I really love that Maple was just sitting by the new lake eating her little sandwich so peacefully and cutely. I'm honestly so happy that Maple came back to live with me. She's perfect. I decided that I wanted to break up the two ball fields a little bit so I'm using the fencing as part of my decoration. As I'm sitting here recording this voiceover I'm seeing that I already have my baseball diamond decorated. I don't know if my videos are out of order or if that's coming later or if I skipped or deleted that part. I'm not sure. So we might find that out later, but there's my decorated baseball field. I'm going to do a lot more, but that was the bare bones that I wanted there to be for now. And it looks like now I'm actually going to go and put a few more things out, which good. I'm glad I didn't delete that because I mean, I've worked really hard on this whole little build. It took me a couple days to get, I had to keep it hidden. I, I don't know why I was hiding it, but I think it would be fun to reveal, right? And if this is so different for me, I don't do sports. I'm not a, I don't know. I just, this is a fun build to me. So I enjoyed keeping it a secret from you guys. I'm hoping that you guys are liking the video so far and all the stuff that I'm putting. Hopefully it makes sense because I don't actually even know what baseball fields have at them, but we're going to go with it. Clearly I could not let this video go without me being sidetracked. <laughs> I suddenly needed my tiny library right there with the book I found dropped. So we had to put that in right now. Now I'm going to go and put some trees and some fencing. I wanted to put a barrier between the chairs and the soccer field and I tried a few different things. Ultimately, I wasn't a big fan of any of it so I think I ended up just putting the blue fence back up in front of it. But I needed to add the trees, the bushes, the flowers, all to the back of that. I didn't want to take away from the waterfall behind it though. I worked really hard on that area as well and it was... It's a pretty area and I don't want to take away from it. And so this build almost took away from that. So I had to watch myself a little bit with those. I had some stadium lights on the soccer field that I 
end up moving because they just took too much space basically away from the waterfall area. I also decided to use little pops of blue back here with the flowers because the school is blue and I just feel like maybe the school colors are blue. So I thought that adding blue into my color scheme back here really helped and now I'm going to put some patterns down underneath the chairs, kind of make it look a little more used. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think baseball fields are set up like this with like the audience in the outfield, but oh well, <laughs> we're gonna wing it. It is what it is. I think it turns out pretty good, but now that I'm thinking about it and looking at it, I'm thinking, yeah, that's not a good place for seating at a baseball area. It's pretty close to where balls could hit you. So... Oops, but it looks cute, right? I didn't want to put too much of anything on the actual wall diamond part. So I threw down a couple different like leaves or dirt spots. Um, I wanted it to look like it's been used, but not something that's been being overgrown. And I also put a couple flowers and things, which obviously aren't there either, but now that we have seats in the outfield, why can't we have flowers and bushes on the infield? Wait, the infield is in the inside. I don't know what the infield even is, actually. <laughs> I know nothing about sports, you guys. I did use one of the things I learned off of Kato making her baseball diamond. She made the home plate and the base plates a uh, light shade of white, basically a little bit off-white with the Zen cushions. So I decided to do the same thing. I got rid of one of my codes and used just a pale white color and I think it turned out really good. So now I'm in the soccer side of things and again, I literally know zero things about soccer, but I'm trying my best. I put in their little team shed things. I figured I'd leave them mismatching because really the teams don't match each other, right? So I left them mismatching. I think it turned out pretty cool. And this is where I saw the light and it's just covering too much of that big waterfall in the back. So I put it in the center of the dugouts and I think it turns out better that way anyway. And then I go ahead and make some pathing and try and figure out the fencing situation. I felt like these people needed to be guarded from the soccer ball. I don't know why I didn't think that the baseball people need to be guarded, but clearly I think soccer is more dangerous. <laughs> I played around with the seating. I thought maybe I'd do two, maybe I would offset them. I do end up just going and putting them in a straight little line here. That way people can walk through and it's not taking over the center of the field. Now it's time to decorate the ground in the soccer field. I wanted to use these circle things that I used in my petting zoo. I wasn't sure if I liked the way they looked. Honestly, I feel like they look more like a circle mud hole rather than just dirt being thrown around. So I did try to fix that a little bit and maybe just use them at the I think they're called coal posts or the coals. Uh, the ones in the middle, I think I don't, yeah, I erased those. 
but I did leave a few of them just in case. And of course I had to add the mom stroller in because this is what moms do, right? So now I'm looking at the way I have things set up. And honestly, right about this point, I'm thinking, shoot, I should have moved all this back just a few extra spaces because you can't really see it behind the school very well. You have to go back there and kind of walk a certain way. So I'm kind of regretting it, but this is what I'm going to do to fix it. I decide to go and take all the stuff out at the edges of my school and take the sidewalk and take it all the way around the, the sides and the back of my school. So my hopes are when you're on my island touring it, you follow the sidewalk possibly. I don't know if I need to put some fencing up maybe to help guide you. I don't I don't know why I didn't think of this beforehand, but I was just too far in by the point that I realized it was too close. So it is what it is. And I rework this edge too. I kind of build a little bit more um, into my entrance than I wanted to, but it is what it is. I think it's going to turn out fine. I think I might just have to figure out how to route you guys around so that you're able to see and not miss it because I feel like it's going to be easily missed possibly. Honestly, with the pickup line, I'm just going to plant things to cover up the edge of the ending of the pickup line because the cars have zero places to go. It makes zero sense. So I'm just going to leave it and let your imagination wander. And so now that I did that in front of the school and around the school, I decided that I wanted to have a little concession area. I might work some more on this little place. Honestly, I didn't put any groundwork down here. I was getting tired and ready to be done with this whole build, but I definitely think I need to put in some patterns on the ground and maybe a few other items, maybe a stall, maybe a few flowers, you know, a few things here and there, spice it up a little bit. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to fix what I have going on here to make it seem some sort of way and try and decorate it so that it kind of goes together, I guess. I don't know why I keep going back and forth between it, but I think whenever I stop to do these other little things, I'm trying to figure something out to do with the sports or the road or the sidewalk or how I'm going to path out the rest of my island because pathing seems to be the hardest thing for me to follow. And with all that, I am completely done with the actual baseball field. Here's the zoom in and zoom out. And I'm also done with the soccer field. I think they both turned out really good. I'm going to put a little playground off to the left here as well at some point for the school because there is a daycare area. And I just think we need a little play field. And I think this just turned out really good. Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Mim Beans and Mim Bears. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.